Hello and welcome. My name is Amanda and today I have for you a plan with me for the week of June 3rd through the 9th. This is the first full week of June and I am planning to use this kit from Creating & Co called Save Our Seas. This is um, Chrissy from Paco Stickers and Paige from Creating & Co did a collab last year for um, what was it? I want to say it might have been World Oceans Day. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but the proceeds went towards um, a foundation for um, kind of stopping like the use of animals as entertainment and making sure the seas and whatnot were clean. So I picked this up because I wanted to um, be a part of that and um, Help donate to what I think is a good cause and I am using this kit this week because on Sunday it's World Oceans Day so I figured that was a pretty good time to be able to use this kit. Um, let's do the turtle and the octopus. I know um, Chrissy's kit was hand-drawn by her and it had a lot of oceans in it. Um, not oceans, orcas. <laughs> but I did end up picking up Paige's kit. I think she actually had two different kinds of kits and this was the one I preferred. Um, let's see. Let's do the dolphins. And maybe the Sharkies. So this week, um, well, as you can tell, we've got a little different background going on. Um, my office is currently all torn apart right now because we are laying down the floors, which is what you see behind the insert um, in my office. I think we might be able to finish today, and as I'm filming, today is Sunday, um, the day before this video is going up. Um, and so I don't really have my computer right now. I honestly don't know if this plan with me is going to go up on time or not. Um, we shall see. It'll be a surprise for the both of us. <laughs> but yeah, I've got, um, like I said, just kind of a pretty, um, not busy week going on this coming week. I am excited. It's finally June. I always, I don't know. I always think the start of new months are so refreshing and look forward to them so, so much. Um, just because it always feels like a fresh start. So you get essentially 12 fresh starts of the year and it's really nice. Mm, I know this is going to be my quote, but I think I might have to build from the bottom up this week. Um, which I can actually do right now. Um, okay. Let's do this checklist at the bottom. This is going to be my reading tracker for the week. I like to mark um, what books I start, and I like to mark it off if I also finish it throughout the week. Oh, what are my colors going to be? I think I might just go in this order. Yeah. I'm gonna lay down headers first because it gives me a better idea of what the heck I'm even doing. Um, but anyway, the uh, Ombre Heart Checklist box there, like I said, is for my reading. I like to mark the books that I start throughout the week and I check them off if I also finish them. Um, and it's just nice to see, like as a visual, what books I've 
I started one, I guess. I am participating in this plan with me is going up before my um, oh no my I have been doing <laughs> bi-monthly book TBR so my TBR for this month is already up um, but for a refresher if you don't watch my reading or my book related videos I am doing a buddy read with my fellow planner and reading friend, Darshelle. Um, her channel is Books and Planners. I will leave her link down below if you want to check her out. But we are buddy reading basically the whole um, Shadowhunter series together. And we're on City of Glass right now. She's about halfway through and I just started it today. I've also got a buddy read going on with um, two new booktuber friends. Um, we're reading Five Feet Apart. And then I'm participating in three separate um, readathons this month. So I'm quite busy with reading, but I'm really looking forward to it. Okay, which one of these washes is header size? This one is. Mm, no, let's do glitter. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough room to do glitter in between each thing because I also need this and this and yeah so I won't have enough room oh no please don't rip don't rip don't rip woohoo okay That one's going to need some undo. So normally I would just do a checklist in my sidebar. Whoops, sorry, that was loud. Um, a checklist in my sidebar, a full box, and any other thing that would fill it up. But I'm going to try to start doing Pio again this week. Um, so that's what this um, ombre weekly checklist is for. To mark the workouts instead of doing them on each day of the week I'd rather have a list so that I can see everything at a glance. And then I've also been doing a habit tracker, um, which I don't have the room for. Um, actually, if I push that up just a little bit, I could. Just to kind of keep on top of watering my outside plants um, since Summer is approaching and it's getting a little warm outside. Oh, I don't like that. Okay, I need to push this down a little bit, but um, I'm going to save you all from watching that. So I'll be back in a little bit. All right, I've got the sidebar laid down again. So now on to more glitter headers. If you just heard that, that was my stomach. <laughs> I haven't had breakfast yet, and it's not happy about that. Oh, 
Also, my hands are a little beat up from flooring. My knuckles from pulling up staples and tacks from the carpet. And then I have a nice little, um, oh my gosh, what is that called? Blister <laughs> on my finger from um, holding the pliers yesterday. But my office is the last room in the house that needs flooring in it. So I'm really excited that we're getting to it this weekend. There we go. Okay, almost done with the glitter headers. Then we can get on with the day-to-day -day planning. I'm not pulling in any foil this week just because um, I have a lot of just kind of like plain non-foiled stickers that I like to use when they work well with kits just to kind of use them up a bit because I do like foil a lot, but I don't want to be wasteful of all my stickers either. Um, I am going to put down this heart checklist flag as... Um, kind of checklist for any happy mail that comes in during the week. I believe there is, yes. I'll put the envelope right there. Okay. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry that my stomach keeps <laughs> grumbling. Um, all right. Uh, and then I want to pull in this EXO with the book and put it here. Just so, just in case I forget, that's my uh, rating tracker, I know. And then I have, did I call that EXO? I'm at Oscar. I have this EXO on a yoga mat that I want to pull in. And hopefully I'll still have enough room to write in my workouts. Normally I would put him up here, but since I've got a habit tracker, um, that kind of takes up a bit of my space. Um, and while I'm thinking about it, I do want to put down this weekend banner. I love these scallop weekend banners. And I am just going to bump it up onto the glitter headers just a little bit to save that extra bit of space. Perfect. Okay, now back to the weekly planning. All right, so I don't have anything going on Monday or Tuesday. I do have a violin lesson on Wednesday, and I may or may not have a call with my student mentor. I'm not entirely sure. Um, so I'm not going to mark that just yet. But I do have this uh, music note from Plan to Plan stickers that I'm going to pull in. Yeah, we'll do it on this side. And then the other thing I'm doing is dropping off a um, one of those clear um, kind of desk or chair mats for protecting carpet at a colleague's house. And I didn't pull out anything to mark that. Maybe I'll just use an asterisk or I'll find something later. Um, yeah, I don't have anything to mark that. Um, all right. And then I'll wait to put down my student mentor call until I know for sure if I have it. So next thing is a birthday for, um, Thursday the 6th. It's my Aunt Charlotte's birthday. And I think I'm just going to use a quarter box. I'm going to use a plain quarter box. A 
it's hard to tell from this angle if I'm even laying these down straight. Oh, that's not coming up nicely. Okay, and then I do have these leftover balloons from another kit that actually match this kit really well. So I'm gonna pull these in here to mark that birthday. Um, Friday, it is a kiddo weekend. Um, I need to pause for a second. I am working from home on Thursday and Friday, so I do need to put that in, but how do I want to mark that? Maybe I'll just use pieces of washi if I've got... Mm, they're not really the right size. Um... I guess I can use scallop boxes for that. I'll use just the plain scallop boxes since they're kind of my little appointment boxes. Um, and then the other thing I want to mark that I'm trying to forget about on Thursday is my plan with me for the week. So I've got a flag. There, and I know there is a planner in the kit. There it is. Okay. All right, so next thing is that it is Maddie Boy Weekend. Um, I've been moving that around a little bit, though, depending on what I do in between, like, work and the time that he comes over. So I think I'm going to wait to mark that. Actually, I can move stickers around. I've got undo. It's fine. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to take another glitter quarter box here and then I like to use the car from the kit come up come up I'll put it on this side okay so next thing is that it is another person's birthday um, this time I am going to use the glitter scallop. It's my colleague and my friend Lori's birthday. And then there's another set of balloons from this kit that I'm going to put on this side. That way they don't go up into the weekend banner too much. And then I do want to mark that it's World Oceans Day. Um, I don't know what I want to use though. Nothing from there. I like to wait to use my half boxes for things that take up a lot of time or a lot of um, space. So I think I might do this other quarter box here. I think that works. And then I want to use a deco piece. I think I'll do the whale, even though I've got lots of whales. But that works for me. And then I don't have anything planned for Sunday yet. Um, I've got date covers I can put down, which I think I will do. And then I'm just gonna, um, what do I wanna do next? I think I'm gonna, uh, I don't really know if I wanna, yeah, I do. We're gonna put down a little Oscar here for anything. 
school related I might do and then this power hour sticker just for cleaning I do throughout the week and then I want to throw in some deco here bring in the little orange octopus since we don't have very much orange on this side I like the green turtles I just wish they were facing a different way Maybe we'll have them going up. We can do a dolphin too. And who else? Mm, I think that's good. I don't want to clutter it too much. But I would like to put something in this space up here. And then I'll sprinkle the deco throughout on this side of the page um, as the week progresses. So now um, I'm going to lay these down without date dots because my date dots are in my um, functional binder that I don't have in the room with me right now. So I will put those on a little later. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that's an airplane outside. We've got um, a little tiny airport kind of near, and I feel like the airplanes fly over my house quite a bit. that is what we have for the week right now um, just the basics I like um, you know I thought there was almost too much blue in this kit which I don't know how there could ever be too much blue but it's actually really bright and really colorful and I love it I've got um, I know there's creating and co-releases on Friday but I don't know how or if I want to mark that so I'm basically done with this sheet. I've got some deco and functional items, quite a few glitter headers and stuff from this add-on sheet. I've got all my half boxes, basically all my flags, quite a few um, quarter boxes, scallop labels, and then some washi bits and bobs on this page. But um, that's pretty much it for right now. So I really hope you enjoyed this plan with me and I would love to chat with you down in the comments until my next video. Bye.